Mais nous sommes en bas de l'Église du Sudan, dans tous les homosexualités. Islam is coming back and Islam will rule the whole world. They've been accused of preaching hate. But should they be banned from debating their ideas with students? A coalition row about limiting free speech on campuses has come amid claims that Mohamed M. Wazi was radicalized during his years at Westminster University. The government's already passed a controversial counter-terrorism bill which compels universities to prevent students being drawn into terrorism. But the Lib Dems have today been accused of trying to water down the guidance that's to be issued to them. Yes, there is a difference of opinion. Uh, Vince Cable uh, doesn't want to do what uh, uh, the Conservatives want to do, which is to make sure that on campus we don't have radical preachers uh, saying things which incite violence, which ultimately uh, can lead to the radicalization of young people. Well, if you did what the Tories are saying, they'd appear on the internet, they'd go underground, and in fact they wouldn't be able to be taken on and beaten. What the Tories are arguing for actually would make radicalization worse. That's what I fear, mm. because it would push these people into a more secret world. Ever since Jihadi John, the man alleged to have carried out brutal executions for the Islamic State, was unmasked as a 26-year-old graduate from West London, questions have been asked about how he came to be radicalised. On the day he was named, Westminster University cancelled a planned speech by this man. What do you believe about homosexuality? They believe that it is a crime. All Muslims believe in this. Haytham al-Haddad was due to talk to the Islamic Society about the Prophet Muhammad, but his views on homosexuality had led to a 3,000-strong petition against the visit. Westminster cited security concerns, but today Dr al-Haddad told Channel 4 News banning legitimate debate would not solve the problem of radicalisation. The way it has been presented now, as if we ban this speaker or that speaker from this premise, the whole issue of terrorism will be solved. And I think this is a very naive approach. approach. Those who knew Mwazi have warned the routes to radicalisation are rarely simple. His contact with the security services and his network of friends are also being looked at. The Department of Education has confirmed to Channel 4 News that his old academy school is to be investigated as another two of its former pupils have also left the UK to join militant fighters abroad.